What's up guys, it's MG Nix and welcome to a brand new video where today we are going to be ranking famous YouTubers first YouTube videos. Obviously these are going to be YouTubers that have been on the platform for a while because if their first video was made like 2 years ago, of course it's going to be better than a video made like 8 years ago. So, the YouTubers I'm ranking today are PewDiePie, KSI, Niga Higa, Smosh, Nantidium, Minimenta and ChrisMD. Let's start with the one and only PewDiePie. The video is called Minecraft Multiplayer Fun and it's completely in Swedish other than a very few phrases of English and a lot of laughing. Made in 3rd of October 2010, it's a recording of Minecraft Alpha Edition, which probably tells you all you need to know about how old it is. It's for someone else called Sebas, and they basically trap a zombie in a minecart and then in a box of cobblestone and laugh about it. It's a very short video as well, only 2 minutes. Here's a clip from it. Hugs? <laughs> Hugs? <laughs> I think he wants a hug. Oh, they go to flip the button. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna go with Smosh, who have probably the oldest video on this list with the Power Rangers theme video. It was made on November 19, 2005. The video is a lip sync of the Power Rangers theme song. Ian and Anthony were apparently 18 and 19 in their college dorm when they made this. If you ask someone to describe how old YouTube used to actually be, this would probably fit most of what they describe. Copyrighted music, quality about as good as this fucking video, and two teenagers playing with their toy guitars to the Power Rangers theme song. It's so good in the sense that it is so shit. But it's still incredible. Up next I'll rank Mini Minter's first video. Uploaded on 8th December 2012. It's a FIFA 12 video about the Gold Cup on FIFA Ultimate Team. He uses a lot of Windows Movie Maker-esque transitions. The music is louder than the commentary, of course it is. I mean, just look at the extreme levels of excitement in this clip. Stand in corner, Cissé. Cissé in the air, he's unstoppable. There's rewind effects, shifting text across the screen, slowing down effects and about everything else you expect from a 20 2012 FIFA video. Also, spoilers, he literally lost the cup on penalties in this first video. <laughs> so that's not exactly great. Also, I just want to show the delivery of this joke. You gotta change your name. Seriously. From Simon, we move on to his boyfriend, KSI. For this, I need to put an asterisk on the first video part. Because I'm gonna rank both the first video on his first channel, G Day Jr but also the oldest video available on his second channel. I say oldest because I'm pretty sure he deleted a few videos from the channel that were older than the one that's still up. But anyway, on to the oldest video JJ's made that's on YouTube, lo known as Looking Through Space. It is literally a PowerPoint presentation with background music. Also it's 8 minutes so I reckon he probably made a bit of AdSense of the mid-rolls on this. Weirdly, he makes a few jokes in this, which is surprising, because this is seemingly his science project. Really showing why knowledge is in his name, by not being able to pronounce spherical. Also, I just need to show this clip. The problem was, it was grounded into the wrong place. Ay ay ay! This man did this in a science project, when he was 15. That motherfucker that you have just seen has sold out stadiums with his music and this is what he was doing when he was 15. You, he also couldn't spell finish. Now for the oldest video still available on the now JJ Olatanji channel, we go into Black Ops 1 in the chamber. I mean it's just the exact proof of when Harry said the old KSI will never be topped. It's an incredible video, although you can definitely tell it's not his first. The video is basically him recording a commentary of his Call of Duty event, and it's fucking hilarious. A lot of race jokes, but to be fair, he was like 18. 
and all in all i think this will be a pretty difficult video to beat to the top of this rank i'm now going to talk about nega hugo's first video and the thing is the oldest video on his channel made 14 years ago is also his second most viewed video so it's obviously pretty good <laughs> the video is called how to beat ninja not a ninja how to be ninja and features ryan and sean with very good choreography weirdly and a fuck ton of copyright strikes for this music the video starts with some guy getting beaten up before he gets dvd thrown at him about how to be ninja <laughs> it's absolute peak youtube sketch comedy at this point there is a slightly problematic part when he talks about imitating anything but again this was 2007 he was like 17 or something overall this video only gets better the older it gets at this point so i'm going to leave this by showing you how the fight scenes would look if it didn't have the music the next youtuber whose video i'm ranking is chris md the first video he's got on his channel is a call of duty black ops no scope montage He's pretty good but there isn't exactly a lot to say about it because he doesn't even commentate or do anything in this it's just music which yeah it does make sense for the montage the editing is surprisingly good for a 10 year old montage but other than that there isn't much to say it's just a fucking montage also he calls himself Chris Ronaldo So it's great to see he's just as good at puns then as he is now. The last YouTuber's first video I'm ra- going to rank is Dan TDM, also known as The Diamond Minecart. Dan's first video is actually on a different channel called Pokey Dan Level 45. The video is called Opening Undaunted Rising Rivals and Majestic Dawn Booster Packs. He does the video with his wife which is in complete contrast to like everyone else in this video who are like 16, 17 and at college. I reckon if he revives this channel nowadays when people actually care about Pokemon cards it probably be pretty successful. I don't really know much about Pokemon so the video doesn't exactly appeal to me but it does have a pretty chill vibe around it like they just recorded on their phone while they were at home. So it is kind of nostalgic. Now that I have talked about all the videos of these incredibly massive YouTubers I mean they have a combined total of more than 200 million subscribers which is insane. I'm going to start ranking them. In last place, I'm going to have to put Chris MD's montage. I mean I can't really justify a video when nobody talks going anywhere above last. In seventh I'm going to put Dan TDM's first video. It's a nice video, yes, but it's an unedited 3 minute Pokemon card op. It's not his highly incredible ca- camera work and it's just quite an average video. Although it I kind of like it for nostalgic reasons, nothing else. In 6th I'm putting JJ's actual first video, which is on Jeet Hey Junior, and it's literally a school presentation. It seems insane I'm putting it above both of Chris and Dan's first videos. But if you actually watch it, you'll probably see why. I mean, it has more comedy than a current Jake Paul video, and it was made like 12 years ago. Honestly, a lead video, but it is still a power point. So there's no way it's going above sixth place. Coming up at fifth is PewDiePie's first video. Now, now, before the pitch folks come out, I'm ranking his first video, not the entire channel and Pewds first video is literally him and is made playing one of the old versions of Minecraft and speaking in Swedish so can i realistically justify putting it above fifth nah in fourth place i'm placing mini mentor's gold cup video honestly it's pretty good despite the fact he sounds like he enjoys fifa even less than he does now the editing is pretty good but the movie maker transitions And overall I think it's better than the videos that are below it. Into the top 3 now, I'm going to put Smash's Power Rangers theme song lip sync video in third place. One of the oldest videos here, despite the quality, the nostalgia carries it into third place. A good reminder of what YouTube used to be, being actually able to use music to random teenagers in their dorm room getting millions of views, etc, etc. Now, in second place is 
Jayate's first video on the Jayate Alert and Jayate Anna, the card commentary. It's an incredibly funny video and also it's very short which kind of helps it. You can actually just see how funny Jayate is when he doesn't have to give a shit about offending anyone or anything. So basically Jayate before he discovered Twitter. Yes, I know it isn't technically his first video but it's the first video on this channel and it works. So it's going into second. Leaving first place up to Nega Hika's How to Be Ninja. Surprise, surprise, the video with like 50 million views is the best one. Although it was surprisingly close between this and Jada's commentary, I just had to put this in first because it's an elite video. It also pretty much encapsulates old YouTube around 2007. Not perfect in its quality, comedy or anything, but just very good content. That's gonna be it from me guys, if you like this video make sure to like, comment down below what kind of content you wanna see and subscribe to see more content from me, peace. What's up guys, it's MGNC and welcome to a brand new video where today we are going to be ranking famous YouTube